Welcome to Lesson 24 Homework. This is Module 5 of Grade 3. Please write your name here first. It's the easiest question to answer, so get that one out of the way. Complete the number bond as indicated by the fractional unit. Partition the number line into the given fractional unit and label the fractions. Rename 0 and 1 as fractions of the given unit. Okay, so this is a lot of the stuff that we've been doing. Here's our fractional unit, is fifths. And this number line is already chopped up into five equal pieces. So we just have to label the fraction. Zero fifths. Yes, done. And then uh, let's fill in this number bond. Right, it says to complete the number bond with unit fractions. Five fifths make a whole. Sixths. So two, three, four, five. And I'm going to chop up my number line. Halves first, and then I fold it in half, and then I fold each half into thirds. There. And now I'm going to label everything. Okay, and that's all done. And I think I'm noticing that Drawing the circles first, when I make my fractions, I tend to make really small circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my fractions first and then draw the circles around them. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need seven sevenths. And then this line has to be set up into seven equal parts. And just look at the look at the six. And you know the sevens are going to be a little bit smaller. So just try to find a mark that's going to be eh, about there maybe. And then see how many of them we can make and see if it turns out. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, that's not going to work. Those are too close together. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. And I'll just, I'll just label everything. Done. All right, so and notice that I did, I started at zero sevenths and I finished at seven sevenths. And we've done so much labeling of number lines. Now I hope that's just becoming an easy habit. For eighths, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts for my number bond, eight eighths for my number bond. And eights are pretty easy to do here when you need halves. And then each half fold in half to make quarters. And then each quarter I'm gonna make a midline hash a midpoint mark to show the folds and that should be eight equal parts. And now I just have to label everything. And I'm just circling my number bond parts, which I really don't even have to circle them. There's my eighths. Circle all the fractions in problem one that were equal to one whole. Write them in a number sentence below. All right, so we're going to go zoom out and look at this whole page here. 
what's equal to one whole? Five fifths, six sixths, seven sevenths, and eight eighths. What pattern did you notice in the fractions that are equivalent to 1? Following this pattern, how would you represent ninths as one whole? Um, I'm noticing that um, there's a lot of ways you can say this, but I like to, whenever I can, I like to use the math vocabulary. The numerators. equal the denominators better to have names and say the top number or the bottom number it's a numerator it's a denominator In art class, Mr. Jocelyn gave everyone a one-foot stick to measure and cut. Vivian measured and cut her stick into five equal pieces. Scott measured and cut his into seven equal pieces. Scott said to Vivian, The total length of my stick is longer than yours because I have seven pieces and you only have five. Is Scott correct? Use words, pictures, or number line to help you explain. Well, of course Scott is wrong. Because it says right here in the first sentence, Mr. John Jocelyn gave everyone the same size stick. Same length of stick. So... If you wanted to add some more to that, you could. All right, that's one foot, one foot. Scott stick and Vivian stick. Vivian has five fifths, so that's about like that. And Scott has sevenths, so he's going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can label them all. And we can even add a little explanation, say that Vivian's pieces. are larger or longer would be better right just add that explanation 